Hey guys, it's Julia here, and I have a very important video regarding the WD Blue SA510 SATA SSD. Now, if you have one of these, you need to update your firmware immediately because there is a critical bug in the firmware in which the drive will just brick itself, it'll stop being detected by the computer, and you won't be able to get your data or anything like that. I've seen many cases of this happening to many people, which I'll show later in this video. But basically, this drive is just randomly stopped being detected, and there is not really a way to get your data back. Very few people has actually had success getting their data back. Like, some people were able to with certain external adapters. The thing is, it's very difficult to get your data back in this scenario because you never know what's going to work and what won't work. Some things might be able to see your drive, but very unlikely that most things will. I'm going to scroll down here and these are the affected products. If you have any of these drives, so the, the 250 gig, the 500 gig, and the 1 terabyte are all affected. It tells you the model number start, which if you have the WD dashboard, it should tell you the model number and everything and the firmware. And if you have any of these firmwares, you are affected, which is, oh no, these are two different firmwares, but for all the drives. So if you see either of those firmwares, you need to update immediately. Now, how do you update your firmware? Well, you could download the WD dashboard, or I believe this might just be the firmware update. I'm not sure. It might just tell you how to do the firmware update. I haven't actually clicked the link, but this one will download the WD dashboard, which this probably tells you how to do it once you're on the dashboard, but I'll show you guys. I have the dashboard open. I updated the firmware on mine, but I have an SN570, so it's not affected. But you would see like a button over here, which I'll probably like put a screenshot from before I updated my firmware, but it'll have an option to update your firmware there. And if you click it, it'll be like, okay, are you sure you want to continue? Be sure to continue. It will give you a warning saying, oh, you should back up. I mean, most likely you should be fine, but if you do want to make a backup, you can. But I just updated it and everything was fine. I also recommend that after you do the firmware update, you shut your computer down completely and turn it back on just to ensure everything's good because I believe it detects as a new drive from what I heard, which it'll still have like all your stuff, so obviously, but your computer might see it differently than before since, you know, you did update your firmware. So it is recommended to shut it off and back on again, basically power cycling the SSD. But even if you don't have the... SA510, still recommended to update your firmware anyway, because you never know with these other drives. Even other SSDs you may have might not hurt to update the firmware, because Samsung had some kind of firmware bug. Even Crucial, I believe, had a firmware bug from what someone told me where their SSD died. There's just many weird issues that can happen, and it's just recommended that you update your firmware. You could also check with Crystal Disk Info your firmware version as well and your drive model. This might be easier for you. So if you want to download Crystal Disk Info or the WD Dashboard, because either one works. However, I highly recommend the WD Dashboard because it actually lets you update the firmware and the software. As Crystal Disk Info just gives you information about the drive, but doesn't obviously let you do any firmware updates. Again, this is the WD Blue SA510. It's a SATA SSD. I'll leave this link in the description. That's just the information. If you want to stick around, I'm going to tell a story about how I discovered this and what happened to one of my friends. Let's just say that one of my friends noticed that one of their virtual machines was offline and they were going to go investigate because they have a management software and they noticed that their VM was just offline. So they went to go check it and it was just at a blue screen of death. So. It was just sitting at a BSOD and it had kernel data in page error and it was by volmgrx.sys, which this basically means the virtual machine lost its disk. So it blue screened because it had no storage and it didn't know what to do with itself. Checking another VM that they had, it was saying like failed to write over and over and over and it was just spamming it and it was a Linux VM, but it was not happy, it pretty much lost its storage as well, and it was just going insane. And they went to check their drive, and they noticed it wasn't showing how much space was free on it. Now this was a partition on the SSD that they had, 
and it was just not showing up and when they did the properties it was saying it was all zero bytes and trying to open the drive pretty much said it does not exist meaning that basically it's it's as if the drive got completely disconnected from the computer but the computer was still partially seeing it and it even showed the partition as raw when they went to disk management and they just couldn't do anything which is really bad so the drive clearly corrupted when they opened crystal disk info before rebooting the drive just didn't show up you could see the drive letters did not show up i believe e was one of them and i was one of them you do not see e or i up there at all so the drive was just completely gone from crystal disk info all their other drives were fine and dandy but this drive was just gone and they rebooted the computer and after that Let's just say the drive was completely gone, nothing saw it, no program saw it at all, it wasn't in Device Manager, it wasn't in Explore, it was just as if the drive was not connected. When they went into their BIOS, the drive just disappeared from the BIOS as well, so it was gone. And they tried plugging it into other computers, still wouldn't see it, they tried multiple hard drive adapters, still didn't see it. They even tried like that SSD power cycle trick where you leave it on for a while with just power and not data for like 30 minutes. That didn't work either, but obviously that wouldn't work because it's a firmware bug. But that was before they knew it was a firmware bug, so they tried it. Obviously with a firmware bug, that's not going to help at all. Um, but I will show some pictures of the SSD in question. Um, so this is the SSD and what it looks like. So if you have this SSD, please be sure to be on the lookout and see the firmware. And even after you update the firmware, I would still recommend keeping the drive backed up because you never know with this drive. I mean, I did hear the firmware fixed it, but it's better to be safe than sorry. So be sure to check that. But that's basically the story, what happened to one of my friends. They're still going to try and see if they can eventually recover the data, but it's unlikely at this point due to it being a firmware bug, and WD is just going to replace the drive. They're not even going to bother trying to recover the data or anything like that. But before I end the video, I'm going to show like five different Reddit posts that I saw when I was scrolling through and looking. This Reddit thread right here is from four months ago. And it talks about a dead drive not recognized by any machines, not even in the BIOS, not in Windows, not even in an enclosure, and even a Mac system couldn't read it. This person said the drive was four months old, so same symptoms as my friend had. And pretty much all of these posts are going to be the same thing. And I will link all the posts below if you really want to look at them, and you can read the comments, but I believe, like, in one of these threads, or one of these posts, it talked about a firmware bug. I think it was the second one right here. We're saying if you have this drive, it has a critical update, and pretty much there's a flaw in the firmware that causes the drive to just brick without warning. They purchased this drive for a client less than three months ago, and today it just fully died, can't recognize or initialize. I searched the air and found this. Now, speaking of that, I'll pull up a few more screenshots. This is what enclosures can do. I believe one of them said it wasn't initialized, and another one said no media, and in Linux it said like zero bytes probably because it wasn't, you know, seeing the drive, and the enclosure probably has some sort of thing to show on the system, even if there's no drive connected, it'll just show a zero. So that was just the enclosure, I believe, outputting that, because every enclosure is different. They might say different things, depending on the one you have. Another failure, this person said they had two separate customers come to them after installing these four months ago and they failed, put it in another system in a closure, did not show up in disk management. Thankfully only sold five, but two of the five is horrible. So, another one that failed. And you can just see the comments, and this one talked about the firmware update, but it's, it's, it's already late for them because the drive already failed. Another drive that failed completely dead, and... There's not really much you can do as far as data recovery, I'm pretty sure, but like I said, these drives are just randomly failing. Like, one day you can just wake up and the drive's just completely dead, so it's just, it's crazy. It's just pretty much talking about recommendations for 
recovering the strife after a firm or failure and this person tried to go to a data recovery and they basically weren't able to do it and someone else said it was going to be like almost a thousand dollars just to get the data back and I mean if the data is that important maybe you'd pay that much but that's still like a lot of money so it's just crazy you know all these people's drives are just failing you know can't recognize it talking about the flaw and how in three months it died this one had two different people come back to them or within the four months saying they're dead and had one fail just one night and it just wasn't recognized anymore and it was dead and the fact that it just talks about someone that actually tried to recover it so yeah it's just it's crazy you know and I made this video because of how important it was but anyways, I'm going to end the video off. If you have any of these drives, be sure to update the firmware. So, very important. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye-bye for now.